Hi everyone! So there have been numerous questions about how to figure out what is the largest perfect square root that divides into certain problems. So let's just do a few problems to practice that. I don't have a worksheet for you, I'm just going through these six questions together so you can just write them down, go along as I am. Um, so this is what I'm talking about, the list of perfect square roots. These are the ones that you have to say to yourself, which is the largest of all of these guys, the ones that I just circled, that divides into the given number. So let's start with 28, the square root of 28. Go through the list. One, one divides into everything, so it's, it's not that. Four, four divides into 28. How many times does it divide into 28? Seven times. So I'm gonna write four and seven next to each other, because 4 times 7 is 28. This is the one that gets simplified, and you just do it once. This gets carried down because it's a prime square root. No other perfect square root divides into 7, except for 1, which makes it prime. So this guy's done. Let's try the square root of 75. Which is the largest one of these that divides into 75? So, hopefully, everyone's realizing it's 25. So, the square root of 25 divides into 75 three times, or 25 times 3 is 75. Then you simplify the square root of 25, and that becomes 5. You're done with that. You simplify it once, and you bring down the square root of 3, because no other perfect square root besides 1 divides into that. So that's the prime square root. That can't be simplified anymore. So then let's do another one. The square root of 200. What is the largest of these guys that divides into 200? And yes, you're correct. It's 100. 100 divides into 200 two times. Or you can think of it as 100 times 2 is 200. So the square root of 100 simplifies to just 10. And by the way, how am I getting that? That's because 10 squared gives me 100. Similarly over here, the square root of 25. How did I know it became just 5? Because 5 squared is 25. How did I know that the square root of 4 was 2? Because 2 squared is 4. Okay, so we're back to this one where the square root of 100 turned into 10. The 2 does not have any other perfect square root that divides evenly into it except for 1, so that's why we keep it under the radical. Okay, so now the ones with the variables. Deal with them as two separate problems, so do the, the coefficient first, the square root of 8. What is the largest perfect square root that divides into 8? Well, obviously I have to stop here, because this one's bigger, and it is 4. 4 divides into 8 how many times? Yep, twice, or 4 times 2 is 8. The square root of 4 simplifies to 2, and the square root of 2 is prime, so it just stays that way. Now with the square root of x to the 12th. This is a 2. The index it's called is 2, because we're dealing with square roots. You divide this number into the given exponent. 2 divides into 12, <clears throat> excuse me, 6 times evenly. It's done. No remainder, nothing else to worry about. So you put everything together. The guys on the outside, the guys not under radicals, go next to each other. And then what's ever under the radical stays. All right, let's do another one. 72 x to the seventh under the square root. So you have to think to yourself, what is the largest one of these guys that divides into 72? And it has to be evenly. It's 36. 36 divides into 72 twice. Or 36 times 2 is 72. So then the square root of 36, that's the one that simplifies just to 6. And the 2 is the prime. It cannot be simplified anymore, so that's done. Then deal with the square root of x to the 7th. 
that's a 2. 2 divides into 7 3 times, so that becomes x to the third, and there's a remainder of 1. Remember the trick. It's always going to be x to the first under the radical. We're dealing with square roots, so if you have an odd number here, it's going to be x to the first. So, the guys on the outside go together, on the outside, and then the guys under the radicals go together, under the radical. Do you need practice for another one? So like x to the 15th. Take the square root of 2, excuse me, the square root of x to the 15th, so 2 divides into 15 how many times evenly? Correct, 7 times with a remainder of 1. So that's your answer there. Okay, and then the last problem. The square root of 45 x to the 13th. So, for 45, what is the largest perfect square root that divides into 45? I'm going to stop here because these start to get bigger than it. Yep, 9. So 9 divides into 45 5 times. This simplifies to a 3, and you're done because 5 is prime. The only, lar the only number that divides evenly now is just 1. And then we have x to the 13th. So 2 divides into 13. How many times evenly? 6 times, right? That brings me to 12 with a remainder of 1. So the guys on the outside stay together, and the guys under the radical go together as well. So everyone, please, 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 please review these notes. Let me know if this makes any sense at all. If you need further explanation, send me a message, email me, whatever you need. Please, please, these questions are excellent. That's why I made this video. Have a good rest of your day and be well. Miss you, miss you. Bye.